we're at 6.1b, and we're going to simplify more complex expressions. I was going to include this in the previous video, 6.1a, but it would have made it way too long. We can use the distributive property to remove parentheses when simplifying or expanding an algebraic expression, but we need to be careful with negative signs and subtraction. So remember, the distributive property, I've always taught that it's like a mother bird feeding her babies in a parentheses nest. She feeds one, she feeds the other, each gets a turn, no one's ignored. When we see a lone variable, it's all by itself, it can be written with a one as its coefficient. If we see an x here, that's just 1x. We can write it as 1x. If we see a variable, it can be written with a 1 as its coefficient. When we see a lone negative sign next to parentheses, it can be written with a 1. If we see negative and then x plus 3 in parentheses, it's the same as a negative 1 multiplied by x plus 3. We can distribute this negative 1 to the x plus the 3. This will help us distribute the negative sign. So lone variables and lone negative signs have an invisible 1 that we can use to simplify expressions. If we see a negative sign and then x plus 7 in parentheses, it can be rewritten as negative 1 times x plus 7 in parentheses. We can distribute this negative 1 to each term within the parentheses. We have negative 1 times x, that gives us negative 1x. We have negative 1 times 7, that gives us a negative 7. We have a negative x minus 7, because we know we don't need to write that one, do we? And remember, the multiplying of unlike signs, if we have a negative times a positive or a positive times a negative, that's going to give us a negative product. So when we did negative 1 times positive 7, we got a negative 7. We distribute over addition. This is the addition. And this will also work to distribute over subtraction. We have a negative and we have inside parentheses, x minus 7. We can rewrite this as a negative 1 multiplied by the x minus 7 inside the parentheses. We distribute the negative 1 times x is going to give us a negative 1x. And negative 1 times 7, this is a negative 7, is going to give us a positive 7. So remember, when we're Multiplying unlike signs, we get a negative, but when we're multiplying like signs, a negative and a negative, we're going to have a positive product. So negative 1 times negative 7 is a positive 7. We don't need to write this 1, so we have negative x plus 7. For expanding an algebraic expression, we have a negative sign outside the parentheses and y plus 2 in the parentheses. Remember, there's like an invisible 1 there. So we can write this as negative 1 times y plus 2. That's negative 1 times y plus negative 1 times 2. That gives us a negative 1y. We can write it as negative y. Plus negative 1 times a positive 2 is a negative 2. They have unlike signs, so we have a negative 2. And that means we have a negative y minus 2. If you're very confused about multiplying with different signs or same signs, I'm going to have a link to 3.4a and 3.4b where we learned about this in the description. You'll be able to quickly review and get back on track. So we had a negative outside the parentheses, and we need to multiply it to y plus 2 we found that it was equal to negative y minus 2. So notice we get negative y minus 2 from this negative times y plus 2. By removing the parentheses, we can just remove these parentheses and reversing the sign of each term. So instead of 
this being a positive y, because remember when it was inside the parentheses, it was a positive y, we make it a negative y, and instead of a positive 2, we make this a negative 2. We reverse the signs of each term. The y inside the parentheses was a positive y, now it's a negative y. The positive 2 is now a negative 2. This process is called distributing the negative and applies when we distribute over subtraction. So we can also do it when we distribute over subtraction. So this would be distributing the negative over subtraction. We have subtraction here. We're going to distribute this negative over subtraction. We're going to remove the parentheses and reverse their signs. This x within the parentheses is a positive x. Now it's a negative x. This negative 9 is now a positive 9. By imagining a 1 next to a lone variable or a lone negative sign can help us to simplify expressions. We have a negative outside the parentheses all by itself, it's lone, and we have a 3x plus 8 within the parentheses. We can distribute this negative sign to each term within the parentheses by imagining there's a 1 there, it's a negative 1. So we have negative 1 times 3x, that's going to give us a negative 3x. We have a negative 1 times a positive 8. We have unlike signs, that's going to give us a negative sign with an 8. And we have negative 3x minus 8. I really thought I could get all the information from the previous video, simplifying algebraic expressions and simplifying more complex expressions, into one video, but it would have ended up being a 17 or 18 minute video, and I didn't want to do that. So I added this more complex expression simplifying one as its own video. So now we're done with that. Now we're going to move on to 6.1c, simplifying each algebraic expression. I really try my best to not make the videos too long. If I could make them in one minute, I would, but I wouldn't be able to get all the information in a one minute video. So, stick with me. We'll move on to the next part of 6.1, and I hope you have a great day. Bye.